From the Mind of Critic, August 12, 2019. If marchers alone won't bring integration when human respect is disintegrating, have we ever asked why? Why do people endlessly fight for generations when a simple handshake, a short but courteous conversation with eye contact, and a very elementary view of looking at the world we learned in kindergarten would fix most things? If we treat each other like we'd like to be treated, but believe all talk and no action is enough, will we forever chase the dragon of true unity being just out of our reach? Are we only scared of revolution because of the illusion of being outnumbered, when really it's us who do the outnumbering? There are many ways to promote positive change in this ever-mutating shih tzu we call life. They can be small, mundane, and boring things. Or they could be big, flashy, and exciting, both of which would have no success if not done in unison. We have a fascist dictator who foments his control by adding zeros to his bank account and curtailing our rights. While violent racists are given tacit approval, tacit approval to defend him and his devolution by bullying, fighting, and murdering into submission all of his perceived enemies, who are really just simple, real, loving, perceptive, tolerant, accepting, hard-working, and passionate people like you and me, humans who give a shit about people other than themselves. This is the, sh this is the unfortunate societal location we find ourselves in. Are we going to idly sit by and allow ourselves to be slaughtered? Or are we going to stand shoulder to shoulder and just say, enough is enough? Are we finally going to be confident enough in ourselves to create the better world of all our dreams now? Love will help us achieve now, and will provide the passion to sustain it. We will fix things. We just need to start building what comes next, first.